Hello there friends, uh, I'm back with Control today, this is AWE DLC, second part of it, so I'm basically an hour in of this DLC, and you can see where, what places have I already discovered and explored, there's a red dot on the map, or a red arrow, and everything underneath it, I explored. We got some quests from Akti, I'm not going to go back because uh, I'm scared it will trigger some combat, some enemies spawning there. So yeah, we are going uh, to the active investigations. Well, and what's this is a, what is this about? This DLC is Alan Wake and he kind of contacted Jesse with Thomas Zane that looks awfully similar to Alan, which is suspicious, very suspicious. And we also uh, know that Hartman from Alan Wake 1 is wandering around looking creepy and being taken over by the Dark Presence, so he's taken and he's also his. Who knows what that will do. And that's basically it for the recap. Jesse's ready to move forward, I think. So let's go and see what's inside this room. Uh... I don't feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. Draining the energy. Not HP. Okay, well. Well, I have to fight with my guns inst instead of thro throwables. I don't really like that. Okay, there's something here. I don't see shit. Maybe I could take some kind of lantern from this side. Yeah, as I said, I don't really want to go in there. Oh yeah, and we read so much last part, god. I mean, I enjoy a g good document here and there, you know? But there was so much there. That's crazy. Alright. I see two cubes and a document down there. I want to turn on the lights first before exploring, I'm sure I'll miss something in here. What is this? A document? Another one? I mean, again, I guess I can start by, start by reading again. Ocean View Motel Observation Report. An excur- Oh! Excuse me, the yawns are just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Can't get rid of them. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby, lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral-shaped marking designation door blank. Similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, referred to AWE 35 for details, and the former wife of missing author Alan Wake, a suspected peri-utilitarian and blank. Contacted agents Shah and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview on 2017. The excursion into the Ocean View Motel occurred later that same day. Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35 is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occur. Interesting. What did she want? with FBC in 2017. Billable hours, see I already read that one. Not read, listened to it. And there was one more I listened to, Motel Observation. Agent Fisher. Yeah, we heard that. All right. Shine light on the plants. Oh, so not talk to them, but shine light on them. Eradicate the mold, eliminate the darkness. It will get back to that. And uh, this is probably just useless. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. 
I do. Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't. I mean, it wasn't very good. I can't hear them correctly. Let's do it here. Mm, where is it? Oh, on the red. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night, with a, you know, a K. Not an N, not... Not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given it such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> All right, that was a fun one. Uh, I like that one. He had a nice voice, though. <laughs> the kid. Well, he's 21. That, that can still be a kid. Vending machine procedures. None unknown. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. A vending machine, its front covered in a fog. Oh, man. Four wood panel. I don't know what that is. Coin operated buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create a living blank have consistently failed. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Blank, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Blank called the local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise residents' spirits. The bureau response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. Of course, 2017. Same year that Alice came here, huh? Okay, let's regenerate our stuff. There is another place for a cube here. Another document. Hartman background. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated the recovery center in Bright Falls, Washington, right? Focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders, publicly Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities, very utilitarian maybe, they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit, which has earned him a class 2 bare criminal designation. Right. Okay, I like that. So we actually got like a description of what he was doing. For more on the link between artists and their ability to blank reality through artistic mediums, see file blank. It's unbelievable. I don't know why I'm yawning so much always. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to seize his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated and released blank months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. Hmm. Alright. Uh, assets, that's basically nothing. I can get search. I don't need that. Alright, well, I don't see any power cores, so I guess I'll need to go to, through the elevator first. Do I get to choose which way I want to go? Shit. Now what? 
shit is right. Oh. What is that? Hartman. Come on, elevator, time to go. Oh my god. Nothing even touches it. What the hell is that? There's two of them now, isn't there? Oh, he just kind of disappeared. Okay, we've got more light there. So this is a hide-and-seek game with Hartman. That's cool. Well, okay. Um, I don't have any other cube. Guess not. There are more here. And he's laughing. This sucks. Okay, I... Where, where were the other ones? There was something up there. Uh, up here? No, there. Alright. Let's look around these places that already have some lights to them actually explore them I had another recording okay, this room is really in okay, Let's do this. this room is really intimidating and all but I know my rights Langston? it's not a crime to try and get a book signed making unauthorized contact with a dangerous paranatural entity is indeed a bureau offense Mr. Langston and can be prosecuted as such uh okay well I didn't know that listen this is being blown way out of proportion. All that happened is I heard Dr. Hartman had been brought in, and since I'm a huge Alan Wake fan, I thought it'd be cool to get a copy of The Creator's Dilemma signed. Uh, that's a book that Hartman wrote about... We know what it is. Okay. Uh, good. So, yeah, I was just looking to fill out my Wake collection. I certainly didn't know Hartman had turned into some kind of shadow zombie. That's a completely inaccurate description. Whatever. Listen, I'm just a desk jockey. I sort papers, do data entry, that kind of stuff. Don't come down on me like this. I made one mistake. I mean, I see people break the rules all the time and no one is pulling them into dark rooms to yell at them. Yesterday, Dave Gleason and his crew were talking to that empty spacesuit and laughing their heads off. Don't we'll snitch. You off with a warning, Mr. Langston. But this is going on your record, so one more screw up and our next chat won't be so friendly. Great. That is just great to hear, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, is there any chance I could get my copy of the Creator's Dilemma back? Get out. That woman that's interrogating people is pretty uh, hard ass. But, but Langston, isn't that the guy that was in charge of Panopticon? I think that's him, right? I don't feel like that's him. Okay. Well, I'm not going near him. How am I supposed to fight him? I guess I'll figure that out later. Let's just drop the core and see what's inside of this room. Read some more. Night Spring Screenplay, page 1. This screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Episode Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake, host, VO. Voiceover? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover in a night springs? Introduction, maybe? Secret lab night. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads the Federal Bureau of Night Springs Scientist. I've told you several times, Doctor, it isn't ready, Director. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Huh. Okay, I guess we'll get more parts if I'm if I'll uh, look around. 
All right. <laughs> I don't know. The the sound just made me think that he should be somewhere behind me, but I guess he's not. A chest. Great. Just checking if I actually started the recording. Didn't happen before yet, but still kind of a little freaked out that I'll just record for an hour or so, and then I just realized I never even started it. That would suck. Might happen though. Alright. We got here. Don't see anything to read or listen to. What's down here? I think people just eat here, play arcade games, great. Well, this is not the way to go. I need to go and uh, come back for my cube. I guess I should have brought one more. What was that? Did I do that? Something got broke. Uh... Oh, this probably lights up the whole room, doesn't it? Yeah, leave. Go to hell, man. What the hell? Man, he's so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that? She's not even bothered by it. I mean, I would be so talking so much more about how disgusting he looks. It's not his fault, poor, poor guy. Them. All right. Well, let's run around a little bit more just to see if I didn't miss anything. I guess not. And next stop should be the elevator, but I want to go and check this. Why is there a hole in there? I feel like I should be able to get there. Should I? Guess not. Well, I don't see any other places I can go to. See, there's something up there, but I'm not able to get that far up, am I? No, I don't see anything that would help out, so that's something we'll do later, I guess. Let's go down then. Or up, I don't know, actually. Which way are we going? Man, what are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. It's right here. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. A couple years Let back. me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp. Boy, a flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your... I don't have any of those, Langston. <laughs> Christmas lights. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. About what? This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to brag. Know people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, 
then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just gonna talk for I always him. make it home yeah. jail time, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She had a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment and she gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not Is home. Alfred a I'm cat? Have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably going to have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back. Is he seriously Maria never going to stop? He must he must have some limit. I mean, theoretically, they could do like an hour long okay. session of oh, one more thing. the guy just talking. And by her he reminds me of Barry, though. Even mentioned the Christmas lights. He really does remind me of Barry. Alright, done. Are you a cat person? Yeah, it's I don't a cat. Think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. You'd like Alfred. He's very proper, really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Tell us about Sylvia. Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Oh, man, Sylvia oh, might oh, be another no, no, no. cat then. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Didn't like me getting in her way. Scratched me more than once yeah. when I was just trying to move her food bowl. That cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that Looks language is not harsh. entirely um, professional. <laughs> you see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most. I mean, I like to hear about cats, so let's listen a little bit more. Or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, cat. Hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real smooth, Langston. <laughs> I'd like Langston. I'm, I'm uh, much happier having him here than uh, Marshall or, or Emily. They are kind of boring. Emily's fun. In some ways, she can be fun. But I mean, Langston is of a different kind. He's just this uh, silly, silly man. Yeah, it make, make, makes me makes me laugh, and that's good. In this dark place that we have here, again. Uh, yeah. The third thing: find Hartman in the F. It seems like there's more of them, more Hartmans. Since I already have both of those, it makes it seem like he's at both places at once. Which is weird. It would be better for them to just send me to one place, meet him there, and then he moved to the other place. I guess they wanted to give you like a choice, like a choice to choose which way you want to go first, but it just makes it seem a little bit weird, honestly. See, I actually have something I can uh, bitch about. Alright. That's fine. Why am I picking up the uh, smallest things? I want to pick the big things. Alright. The way should be clear now. Oh, a guy. And this dude is strong. Is he down? 
Now he is. Alright. Well, that got taken care of. I need a light. Now, I kind of thought this would count towards Acti's quest, but I guess it does not. A mission, not a quest. Again with the quest. I mean, it's not that bad. I'm just trying to... Oh! Just one more here. Come on, open up. I want to take the... I open it up with the flying lantern. I can't while I'm carrying that. Okay. Well, come with me. Let's check the other toilets. Alright. Come on, open up. How am I supposed to open that? Man, I really have to just fly about it. Alright. Take lantern. Let's move. Nothing else here. No. I'm really expecting some kind of uh, horror -y experience with Hartman. Trying to hide from him. There are those exploding guys now. Hope they're not behind me. No. No, they're not. Okay. Is that done? Now it is. This one seems a little bit easier, honestly, than the one before this, the Foundation DLC. At least for now. I mean, I'm at the start, but still. Where's the lantern? Here it is. Let's clear this out. This dark gunk. Oh. oh! Well, that's something we probably need. Oh, okay. Damn it. Where did I put the light? Where is it? In the gunk. Alright. Now we cleared it out. This place looks exactly as that one place I already was in. Okay, let's start this up. What did it do? I really don't know. Write something to read, finally. Oh no, it's a new mission. Shoom. Find and interact with the arcade machine altered item. Arcane cabinets procedures. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Items are a pair of arcade cab game cabinets originally designed for the games Shoom and Shoom 2. Colgar's Revenge. Games were manufactured by Bonko Entertainment, now out of business despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s. No other Shum cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching one of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficacy are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. That seems like a fun quest to do, I wanna see how that uh, game looks like inside there. That sounds like so much fun. Let's pick the light. Oh! Hidden location! Once again! Oh! Damn it! Oh man! He couldn't even get to me and he scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. 
fine. I don't know why I'm so scared about um, with these games. Not, nothing really can happen. He'll just kill me, you know. Shit. Oh, did I destroy that? Damn it. I guess I did. Will I gain another one? Yeah, I did. Okay, so how do I destroy this one? Do I just like turn it like this? Well, it did get destroyed. Yeah, well, okay, I need to find another one. But I'm a little bit scared being here since. Wasn't he around this place? Alright, I need to shake off the little spook that he gave me. Fine, I'm alright now. It's all in my mind. Let's go and see what can I do here. Is there some kind of... Okay, I can't put it here. But I can put it there. What did this do? No, that doesn't really help, does it? No. Huh. Well, what's the next thing I could do? I don't know. I can pick this up now. Oh, I see. I guess I see. Yeah, it's... Alright, alright. I think I understand. So, if I put it here. Now, do this. Take it out. No. I need to leave it there until it finishes moving. Oh, this is to the other side, alright. It just stops where I leave it, alright. So I should be able to destroy that, right? Like this, great. What was the sound though? Please don't scare me again. Alright, I'm fine. I survived. Nice. Now put it back here and move it a little bit more. Will it go until I stop it? It seems like it will. So maybe around here. Maybe. Yeah, seems like that's a nice spot for that. Now just take it out. And open the door. Alright, well, that was a simple enough puzzle. If it can even be called that. What's with this thing, though? Will somebody come out of it? Let's hope not. Why is there a, why is there a wind here? What's going on? Is Hartman coming for me? Certainly looks like he is. What am I supposed to do? Alright. Stay in the light, I guess. I can destroy that place. I am a bit scared, to be honest. Right? We destroyed that. What happens if he gets to me? Do I just die instantly, or what? What's what's? Yeah, I'm not trying to fight it. I'm trying to run away. I mean. It's not really that hard, I just don't... I'm just not going to look behind me.
I just don't want to see it, you know? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Alright. Go away. I don't know where to put that power cube. Man, man, look at him, how disgusting he is. This one doesn't seem like... Oh, I can go through here. Alright. This is the way to go. Alright. Did it. It was quite stressful. <laughs> Fine Hartman, dealt with you. Well, hopefully there was nothing to read there. I really doubt there was. I might be able to go back and check, but I'm not going to. I don't think there was anything. Or should I? Or I'm, 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 I don't know. Let's go. Just to be safe. I can just move around like nothing right now, can't I? Let's just see. And I'll waste maybe a minute of my time if there's nothing here. That's not so bad. Oh, we'll see, I, I at least got a chest. If nothing else, that's like level 3. This bullshit five. Oh man. I'm really getting mad at that. Like, give me something I can use, not just these useless low level mods and stuff. I really just fills up my inventory i don't need the coins i get from that or, or fragments or whatever they're calling them i don't need oh i'll just stop <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, okay so where is the active investigations i've seen the yeah i'm just looking at my uh, at the top left my objective or the arcade machines. I've seen them, didn't I? Where we met Hartman near the elevator. There were two arcade machines pretty close to each other. So I'm thinking those two must be the ones, the altered the altered items. No, but let's just go back and see. Active investigations. That's where it's supposed to be. I can just return later and finish what I started there. Let's just try and do this. It was down here. Yep. That's it. This will be fun. I can already see it. Crowd control deadline. I even get to choose. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh. The goal of crowd control is to survive. Survive against the horde of his. Okay. Well, I was expecting something cooler. There is a lot of them. Alright. Down. A sniper. Oh man, I oh, I didn't want to do that. Alright. It's fine, we are gathering a lot of health here on the ground. What the hell? Where did it come from? Survive against the horde of his. Oh, come on. I'm in the... My bar under the objectives is not filling up at all. 
so what's going on? Alright, it's filled up a little tiny bit, so I'll be here for a long time, won't I? Okay, what else? Come at me, guys. Alright. I guess I need to run around the place to actually find them as fast as I can. Yeah, the bar filled up a little bit more. Oh, I don't like these guys. And I hit the wall. Why is it hurting me? Aren't they throwing that at him? Did I hear somebody? No, I just felt like I heard something behind me. Can you just leave that place, please? I, I have trouble killing you. I got him. like the flying ones they got dealt with though if I go all right well let's put up our shield like that great got them Anybody else? There will be so many of these. And if I die... Oh, no, 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 no. I hate this. You need dodge! Alright, survived. Man. So there will be these laser guys too. Can't say I like that too much. Okay, well, I fucked up. I'm in a very wrong spot here. I need to get back to heal up, but I don't know how. There's some health here. Great. Alright. Let's just hide a little bit. There were too many guys there. Well, I'm almost uh, almost at the half of my bar. Still, this will take a long time. I can't get caught like that in the middle of the room. That's just not not good for me. It just I'm just begging to get killed. Where was he shooting from? I heard some shooting. I don't see anybody though. He's stuck somewhere. The doesn't seem like the game moves forward until I find the guys that are spawned in that wave. Oh, here they are. Oh, that's a trooper, isn't it? I haven't seen one of those for a while. didn't get another yeah my bar didn't fill up more at all man it's weird that it's easier for me to hit them with with the grenade launcher then with the throwing stuff. 
because hitting somebody with a grenade launcher while they're flying, that just seems ridiculous. Okay, give me more. I see something flash in there. What is that? Oh. This little asshole would kill me that would be just so embarrassing. Okay. Let's just wait a little bit for my energy to regenerate. If somebody ambushes me, I might get fucked up pretty quick. What is that? Is that like the... Like the big dude, the invisible guy. There was like that fog there, that's what I'm talking about. I got him. What else can you throw at me? Alright, I feel like maybe two more waves and we should be done. Maybe at the last one they'll send after me like you know, the most ridiculous thing ever. Maybe not. There's another trooper there. <laughs> he turned around, what the hell? <laughs> I pulled him. Oh, that killed like three at once. That was cool. that I'm most scared of are these except for the ones with the laser the lasers are just crazy okay maybe one more okay I think I saw somebody being invisible didn't I I don't know man Just die, please. I can't get to the one that's... Yeah, let's pick all three of those up. Yeah, okay, that dealt with that. Nice. Got the rocket launchers, guys. Out of the way, I need to find the ball that heals them up. Or that guy, just like that. Where is the ball? There it is. Oh, that's the laser, dude, isn't it? No, 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 dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. Did I already kill it? I doubt it. Where is it? Let's just stay near the health packs. All right, got it. That was the biggest trouble. I was most scared of that. Seems like we are done. Oh, how did I not notice that one? We finished without him, Paul. Great. I was a bit stressed. Wasn't in much danger, but I was scared to die. <laughs> I guess, but uh, what was the other game? Shumtu is an altered item that allows Jessie to revisit the unique enemies she has encountered before and to take another trip to the ashtray maze. 
crowd control challenge deadline. Oh man, there's a lot of these. Okay, we can do that later. I don't see any points to that. Do I have a mission for it? No, I might do some kind of a last episode escapade after I finish the DLC and just come back to these and maybe enjoy some fun time. Also, I want to do the, the jukebox tokens expeditions, are they called? I think I want to try those as well to challenge myself a little bit. No, man. But yeah, that's it. I tried that, finished the mission. That's what's important. And now I can get on with it and continue with the main thing I'm supposed to do. So, best travel. And we are going uh, here, lower access. And this was a pretty dark, pretty dark place. Okay, Hartman shouldn't attack me here. Hopefully. Okay, got them. What now? Fight music still ongoing. Oh, there's a guy there. Okay, well, you're dead. Like I said, nothing here. I'll push that button in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand, Joe, where are you from? Jumbo Brain, up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly, dirt arranged you. Why are you here? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes many cauterizing loops through and about. Wind and windy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. What? Alright. I don't know why I still don't have my, uh, this one. Find Hartman in the Fra, Ma Fra Mauro AWE area. Fra. Well, I want to see what that is. That seemed very intriguing. What did this do? Oh man. Oh no. What what hit me? Was that it? Heal me up, please. Yeah, catch this. Oh man, I was trying to shoot it at the ball. But I hit somebody here at the top. Which is fine. Are we done? Music kinda went away, so we must be. And let's explore this place first. See if there's anything to see. Now it seems like there's only one way forward from here, so let's just run around this uh, circular area. Okay, I need a light, though. Where can I get a light? Oh, okay. Some more. Weapon mods, shitty weapon mods. I can heal myself up a little bit too. Just standing here, throwing stuff all around me. I love this game. It's just, I don't know. I feel I feel so powerful. Jesse is so powerful. It's just great. Oh yeah, I need to destroy the. Yeah, that's. 
Will we get another wave? I still haven't destroyed this. I don't know where to get the light. Maybe from inside here. Is there any lantern or something like that? Light bulb that I can carry with me? Oh, this thing. This will destroy it, won't it? Yeah, okay. That was what I was supposed to do. Shifted offices. Cool, I guess. I see that one there. Cube. Wait, what? They just throw it away with these things? Oh no, here it is. Okay, well, I'm a miss. Oh, here I can. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Fine. We got a light here. Which is great for opening that door up there. Let's see. Oh yeah, that destroyed it, right? Going through these areas destroys the light? No, it does not. Okay, great. A trench. You old dirt bag. I think I heard some very weird sounds again. Nothing unusual in this game, but. Oh. It's like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused it though. Did call him the third thing. Yeah. She seems to have quite a, an understanding for Wake. Even I don't know when she when she mentions him, it just feels like she sympathizes with him. Okay. Sympathizes. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. <clears throat> My mother always said, never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Never. <laughs> always. Never. Never. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? True. What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. What is he doing? I thought he Strange would rap. It's like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot fight. Nice. Strange like a rubber duck. That follows you around and makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues. It's getting some to melody. Quack, 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 quack. Man, Langston, why why is this here? Why is this recording down here? Who was listening to it? Why were you doing that? What was that about? And I don't know, I have so many questions. He's such a nerd. I mean it's cool though. I I don't understand the point of it. What was he trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how it's called. Maybe, they'll, maybe it will have some interesting... Oh, we got this. Both items were purchased from a closing arcade in blank Michigan as a part of program to improve employee well-being through recreation. The program was cancelled before any game machines were dispersed throughout the oldest house. But not before these altered items were discovered. Supplementary information teams in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together a codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items. See research specialist Pope. Pope's paper titled, titled The Parasensitivity of Sequels for more information. However, after proving the item's altered st status, 
the investigation staff insisted on keeping them, claiming that they are important for sector morale. To date, numerous petitions have been filed by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. Cool. Langston Freestyle, okay, that's how it's called. Fine, that doesn't give us much. Oh. I'm so confused what was that. It looked like a ball of light, but it was just turned upside in a weird way. Alright. What is this? A chain letter. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Better do what it says. You know. Just in case. There must be a photocopier around here. Are they like those emails that send this out to 100 people or you'll die a horrible death until tomorrow? Something like that. Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no, this spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you will be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter and the spooky man ate her cat. Terrence in Greenstone did not send the letter and the spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter and now his wife eats dinner alone. Linda did send more letters, 30 letters in total so far and look at her now. She owns three cars, she has all her fingers, she speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter, you better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come, he'll take your cat. Go find your stamps, hurry. Yeah, so that's exactly like those emails. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not from an era when I would be familiar with letters of this kind, but I am familiar with mails, of course, that we all got, or some, uh, I don't know, posts on Facebook and who knows where when we were kids. Examination of Paranational Entities, Dr. Emil Hartman Shaded. Dr. Hartman is the first type 2 shaded individual to be exam examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable a asset for our understanding of A010 aka the Shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by or produces a blank of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This blank also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hardman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains blank to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the blank AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. Another yawn before the last sentence. Damn. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. Alright, great. So there is a lodge somewhere around here? A replica of a lodge? Maybe. This took a little bit longer than I thought it would. That was weird. Operation center. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go finish that quest that we got. Why not? No, the other way. Will there be a fight here? Find a copy machine. Oh, there is a fight. Oh, come on. I'm just killing myself. No, I dodged. Oh, great. Okay, well. Let's just wait for it then. It's here somewhere. Nice. 
finish it. Here's the copy machine. This certainly feels familiar. Oh, the, yeah, it the does. Because of the ending of the main story, right? It's one of the... Mail three copies to the chain letter. Oh, where is that? How do I do that? Should I... Oh, let's see the map. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Well, let's go do the one I can at the start there. Abandoned offices. Investigations. Here. That's the start of it, right? Maybe another fight there. And no. Oh. Oh, it's this place. Right. Will I get a fight here too? Where am I supposed to put it? Maybe in those tubes that were sending mail all around the bureau? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Here it is. That's one cent. Great. Got one. Um, What did I want to do next, though? I wanted to go and check that flower again uh, here. What is that called? Operations Corridor. This one. I want to pick up a light and go and check that dead plant that I was checking before because now I know that I'm supposed to shine a light on it. So maybe that might work. Even though it seems like the... Let's see, if I do this, will it show me on the map? It does! So it must be here. Operations corridor, yes. And this one is still not activated and I should be able to activate that. But I can't take this one out of here. I don't see any light bulbs that I could carry. Where were they? Uh, I don't remember. Well, one should be in the abandoned offices too, so let's go and check that that area first. Maybe. Where was it? Maybe somewhere over here? No. Where did I find the lamp? I don't know. Come on. What is she doing? Walking weirdly. Maybe shelter will have one. It's dark in here, isn't it? Could you use some light? No. Damn. Oh, something was shining strongly from this side. Yeah, I can take it. Great. Okay, now to just find the dead plant that wants to talk. Or I don't know. Not really talk, but you know. Okay, nothing over here. Hmm. I should maybe go and check that uh, room with malt that I was surprised that nothing killed me there. Or tried to kill me. Maybe now there will be something since I have a quest for eradicating the mold. It makes sense, doesn't it? What is this place? Oh, I was here already. What is this place then? Here is the plant. There you go. Doesn't that feel better? Nice. Did it. Oh, wait a second, there's supposed to be three of these in every single part? Well, that's a lot of looking. Here's another one. Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. She likes, likes plants so much. Uh, she wasn't ever as friendly to anybody she met during the whole game. As she is to the plants. 
Okay, there's no way that another one is inside of that hidden place. Maybe these? I don't know. I doubt it. Okay, maybe further away. I mean, these are supposed to be part of it as well. But I don't see a reason for plants to grow here. No. There's, yeah, there's that mold room here. Let's just drop this for a bit. I am scared to go here. Eradicate mold. And was there one more? Oh no, there it is. Alright, got that. Great. Uh, let's pick this up. And try and look for more plants. I might have to return. Oh, there was Hartman here before. Is it enough just having this lamp? Would he leave me be if I had this in my hand? I really hope he would. Oh, there was a lantern. I found it. There's one. Okay, but we are going to look for more plants. Here's one. Nothing to say, Jesse, huh? Alright, here's another one. There's not enough effect of it. You know, when I'm when I'm shining a light on it, I would expect some kind of, I don't know, a sound effect or maybe maybe a visual effect that says, yeah, you're doing something. But it doesn't feel like it tells me I'm doing something. Is this the corridor still? I don't think it is. So I'm missing one in both of those. It's a shame I didn't start this up. I don't know where to get another cube. Let's just look around these rooms to be sure. To be sure I didn't miss any of those. But yeah, it doesn't look like there are more here, so... Let's go and check the corridor again. There's nowhere else they could be, right? Oh, here it is. Right, got it. And let's go back to the abandoned offices once more. Is there, it must be somewhere. Maybe I could have just fast traveled there. I'm old school. I'm going to go there on my own. Alright, let's look for the plant. One was in here. So, that's done so. Let's pick two lights. Hmm. We got one here in the corner. That's two. And we're missing just one more. I guess it could be here. I don't think I went this far back, did I? Oh, an enemy. I don't want to fight. I want to find a plant. Leave me alone. Okay, I guess I can check the hidden room. What? It's blocked off again? Alright. Let's just thoroughly go through these offices. Okay, nothing here. Is there nothing up here actually? Maybe behind this? Somehow? Oh, I can't even take it away. Hm. Oh, kill myself like this. And where's my lantern now? 
There it is. Good thing is so sturdy. But yeah, I can't find the last plant. What the hell? Are none of you the plants I'm looking for? No. Damn it. Alright, well, let's try and go farther back because I really don't know. There might be one... I guess there might be one in the shelter. I don't see the point of it. But it might be. No, it's not. There might be some in the toilets, I guess. No, there's not. In this one. No, nothing. Okay, well then I have to kill these people and... Go and look farther back. Is there some of those plants here? There's not. What the hell? Where is it? Well, there's no way it's up here in the fire break, is it? No. Well, I'm pissed off. Where the hell is it? Investigations abandoned offices. I checked everything, didn't I? I didn't check this one. Hmm. Well, what am I missing? It's, it was probably this whole time right in front of me, right? I just, and I'm just not noticing it. Let's try and go to the hidden room. That's the last place I'm thinking it could be at. But except for that, I really have no idea. Do I even have an explosive need an explosive thing for it? I'm not sure I do. But let's just try it like that. Yeah, I did not. Okay, did I win? Now? Did I win? No? How about now? Yeah, I guess I did win now. Oh man, I'm getting tired of this. I really want to find the plant. It's not anywhere near here. Here it is, in the hidden room. Oh my god. Why didn't I check that? I know why, did I, why I didn't check it. Because it's a hidden room and there's no reason for a... For a quest objective to be somewhere where... You get a little pop-up that you found a hidden location. And I just didn't think it would be there. But it is. But great, okay. I checked it. It's fine. I found it. Let's see. Uh, we did this... Eradicate the mold. Where are these AC systems? Loading bay vents. Yeah. We don't have access there yet. And these? Uh, yeah, I don't have access to any of these yet. Which means I did everything. And I'm going to end it here, actually. Let's just go where I ended. AWE loading bay. So I'm at the spot where I want to continue. Oh man, what, what's up with me today? Where I can, want to continue from. <laughs> and yeah. So that way and that way is where I'm going to go next. So we battled Hartman in a way this time. I did some side quests, missions again. And yeah, fought some guys, there was much less reading this time and more exploring, but still there's a lot to explore in this DLC still. I'm expecting like five or four more parts. 
who knows, doesn't really matter, I'm enjoying it, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of Alan, more of Hartman, if some information gets revealed that I'm... I want some plot twist, not really plot twist. I want some mysteries be explained at the end of this. I'm kind of expecting these two DLCs, Foundation and AWE, to be like a prelude towards the Control 2 and Alan Wake 2. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. So, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching and bye.